But first tonight, a local mayor's future remains uncertain right now. This after one group looking to oust the mayor comes one step closer to its goal to oust him. And now we're just hours away from hearing what the mayor has to say. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Fleiner has more details for us from the mobile newsroom in Fall River. Will Flanagan was first elected mayor back in 2009. He's up again in 2015, so a little over a year left in his current term. But a citizen group wants him out before then, and on Thursday, they received some encouraging news. A citizen effort to recall Fall River Mayor Will Flanagan hit a significant milestone Thursday in a letter to the city council president obtained by Eyewitness News. City Clerk Allison Bouchard announced her certification of 3,847 signatures over the threshold necessary to move the recall process forward. He has five days to either resign or face the prospect of a recall. Eyewitness News confirmed that in city statute. It gives Mayor Will Flanagan five days to make such a decision. If Flanagan presses on, the city council has 60 days to order an election. We repeatedly reached out to Mayor Flanagan for comment on the certification. His only response was an invitation to attend a Friday news conference tied to, quote, recent incidents. The recall effort has been underway for several weeks. Flanagan opponents carry a laundry list of grievances, everything from city taxes to fire department layoffs. Linda Pereira is on the nine member city council. I signed the recall petition because I think that they have a right to have their voices heard. Pereira stopped short of saying whether she'd support an actual recall, but we asked whether she had faith in the city's chief executive. I don't have the confidence that I had. Mayor Flanagan has another issue on his plate. A special prosecutor is investigating a claim by City Councilman Jaisal Correa that Flanagan flashed a gun in an intimidating manner after Correa signed the recall petition. Flanagan rejects that, telling Eyewitness News the two were talking about firearms. And Mayor Flanagan previously expressed concerns about the timing and the validity of the signatures. We reached out to his attorney, Kevin Reddington, for new reaction on the certification, and we have not heard back. In Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.